What's up guys, Kplays here. If you've been playing since my last guide on ideal gear choices, you'll know that the endgame gear I suggested in that video has been totally blown out of the water by two amazing sets that were recently released. Of course, I'm talking about the Dragon and Teastra Gamma sets. Between these two, the typical sets for pretty much all melee weapons have been completely flipped on their heads. It's all because of the Master Touch set bonus. The ability to not lose sharpness on critical hits was always great, but the armor that gave it didn't allow for much customizing because of the lack of slots or built-in needed skills. Now though, we have not one but two options for adding it into our skill sets, and they're a lot more flexible. Draken is great for fully offensive setups right out of the box. It comes with some points in critical eye and attack up, along with full crit boost, so at bare minimum all you need to add is weakness exploit and one more point of attack and you're off to a good start. This will be useful because you'll need a full four pieces to activate Master's Touch. Luckily, with most mix sets, you'll have plenty of free decoration space, one free gear slot, and any charm you'd like to work with. Teastra Gamma is a little more lenient and only three pieces to activate Master's Touch, giving you another free gear slot. The head, arms, and legs should be all you'll need for the points in Critical Eye, and if you have them, you can mix some pieces from the Alpha and Beta sets as well. Just keep in mind that unlike with Dragon, Gamma pieces are pretty much only giving you that 30% affinity, Master's Touch, and some slots. That means that you'll need to add in all your other necessary skills elsewhere. Fortunately, this should be relatively easy to do because the set bonus and built-in skills take a ton of work off your hands when it comes to sharpness management and affinity stacking. Let's look at what that means for our endgame hunting horn setups. Now the main thing you're going to notice with a lot of these is that the core damage skills aren't really going to change. Again, the main point of these two armor sets is extending sharpness and raising critical hit rates. This is huge for horns that either had short natural sharpness or high negative affinity, because with both of these setups, both those cons are removed. With skills and augments considered, almost none of these sets will be lower than 90% affinity, with some even reaching a perfect 100, and every critical hit keeps your top sharpness that much longer. But the horns that had less set space dedicated to those two things will also see an increase in power because they now have room to do things like max out attack boosts, switch up their augments, or run the peak performance plus health regen strategy. In almost every case though, we're finding some way to make a straight improvement in at least one area. Even sets that don't see a direct boost in damage per hit are benefiting from an increased critical hit rate and better sharpness management. The more often you crit, the better your damage output over the course of a hunt is, and less frequent sharpening equals more time to attack or mend song buffs. Your offense as a whole is going to get a lot more streamlined. As for what this means for the top hunting horn options, not much actually changed. The top 6 horns I mentioned in the last video, Deep Barrow, Basil Reed, Heavy Bone, and all 3 Lunastra horns, are still the top 6. They just fight over the top spot depending on the fight in question, your team makeup and skill level, or your own personal preference. In general for all horns though, everything just got an equally large boost, so no matter what you decide to pick up, it'll be better without a question if you run these sets over the old ones. The dividing line for going with one or the other is usually going to be what you feel like fitting in. If you want nothing but raw power, Draken is your best bet because it provides easy office with only a little input for any decoration and charm slots. If you want a little more wiggle room for adding different utility skills or possibly another set bonus like elemental crit, Tail Gamma makes it somewhat easier. The majority of pieces in both sets would hypothetically be great just for mixing into some of these older ones, but the full 3 or 4 piece bonus is just too good to pass up on. In this game, one of the easiest routes to racking up those big damage numbers is centered around stacking up that affinity. All you really have to do is land a critical hit and boom, 25-40% to more damage depending on how many levels of crit boost you have active. Easy. It was already relatively simple to get your affinity up to a decent level with things like maximum might, affinity augments, or the affinity booster, but you could sometimes use all of those and still hit a maximum limit that was lower than you wanted. Critical Eye was an option, but we didn't really have a practical way of squeezing that in there too along with everything else. That's a thing of the past now though. Most of, if not all of your hits should be critical with an easy 4-7 points of crit eye getting added into your sets for free. I hope you guys like the looks of these sets or don't mind our current selection of layered armor though, because if you want full potential as a hunting horn user or a melee player in general now, you'll want to be wearing one or the other. That's a small downside for players that like getting creative with looks or unorthodox skill sets, but it's a dream come true for those of us that like maxing out our practicality and power. As I like telling people, the most supportive hunting horn player is the one that can consistently keep their slung bus up and hit hard while doing it. That way you can help out in all parts of the hunt by making sure your team is happy and healthy and monsters are, well, the exact opposite. That just about covers all there is for the state of things since the last content update. I'll be sure to continue updating these in the future when we get newer gear so you all can keep up with the next best thing for Hunting Horn, but until then I'll leave you guys with these set revisions. As of right now, they're more or less the latest and the greatest. Till then though, this has been another K Plays and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day.